Somebody refuses to nap when her sister to leave. All of them sick. So person's life, and you influence your child. Influencers are parents. If you're new here, I look bald. Good morning, guys. It's been a while. I think the last clip you saw was me making breakfast for Amity and Autumn. And if you're wondering where Amberlynn is, she started kindergarten a couple weeks ago, so we've been trying to get used to a whole new routine, which is a lot of the reason why I haven't been able to be posting as often or at all as I would have liked. Um, getting into a new routine is always just weird. Hang on, my camera is about to run out of memory. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. So, um, you know, where was I? A new schedule so like getting into that whole new like schedule and waking up earlier I also look very puffy and very swollen and I'll explain in a moment uh, it's just been hasn't been the easiest transition one because Amity refuses to nap when her sister is gone and two autumn did I say Autumn the first time? Amity refuses to nap when her sister's gone. And Autumn just doesn't want to nap anymore because she's bigger and is more awake and more active and she can crawl now and she can go essentially go play with her sisters and stuff. So there's that. And then on top of all of that, we've all been sick. So right now I'm still dying slowly of cold or something i have like really bad sinus pressure and congestion as you guys can hear i've gotten past the point of fever i have a dry cough left which you know is a bit a bit better than like the other cough and the fever and everything else so you know i'm getting there slowly but surely we're getting healthy this past week uh we got the kindergarten the kindergarten cooties i guess for lack of a better term. Uh, so everybody, when I say everybody, Amity, Autumn, Matt, me, Amberlynn, we all got down with like this cold and it was due to the fact that I think Amberlynn brought home from school because she was saying a bunch of kids were coughing, a bunch of kids had colds and stuff. So we ended up with it as well and we're all still just trying to get over it. Amberlynn's good, Amity's good, Autumn's good. It's really just me and Matt who are trying to get over it. So if you hear that I sound like this and I'm puffy and so on, that's why. Hi again. Whoa. I'm gonna flip you guys over. Alright, so finally got Autumn to nap. I think she's teething. Why is it so overexposed? Alright. If I move over here, is that better? I still look so puffy. Anyway, so I think Autumn is teething again. She didn't really fuss too much when she got her two bottom teeth. Let um, me take a picture. Hi, you guys. What you doing? I play water and Yeah. So she likes to play while I'm in the bathroom, so I kind of or like it just turned the tub for it to drip just a little bit so she can put water and give her Barbies a bath. Um, so I think Autumn's teething. That's where I was, right? 
Um, so I think her top tooth is coming out and I think it's bothering her a lot. Like when I put the bottle in, all she wants to do is chew on it, not drink it, which is so unlike her. Um, but like I was saying, the first, when her bottom teeth came out, she wasn't like fussy or anything. She didn't cry. She didn't do the chewing thing. I think the top ones are actually really bothering her. If I'm right, it's the top two that are coming out now. Um, but it could also be like any other tooth, I guess. But that's what happened. I finally got her to nap. She didn't want to take her bottle, so I just kind of rocked her to sleep for a little bit. I am just gonna actually try to fix my hair to look a little more presentable. So that's what I'm gonna do really quick. So not much of a difference, but it adds a little bit more like I tried, even though I look like I'm dying because let's be honest, I am. Um, so that is the best that is going to come out of today. Did you like your noodles? Were they delicious? News story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. but like I said there's really bad parking um, I'm about to just like sit here and chill out and listen to a few podcasts and feed autumn I have my drinks I have their drinks and um, you know mindful parenting we always see influencers as people on the internet who want to sell us like skinny tea or something ridiculous but we always forget like the ultimate influencers are parents and they are the biggest influence on like a brand new life and they play such a big part and role in just like this person's life and you influence your child every single day from what you buy to what excuse me from what you do from using reusable uh, grocery bags to using reusable straws to make them realize that they have to take care of the earth or the way that you shower or the way that you live your life whether you're present or not present and all this sort of stuff and I think that if we were a little bit more mindful about everything we'd be able to uh, figure it out and be a little bit more understanding of like when there's temper tantrums and all of this stuff because we're influencing our child, like our children. And I don't know, it's been laying heavily on my mind because I want to live intentionally, but I can't live intentionally if I'm not being intentional and mindful in one of the biggest roles of my life. You know, it's, it's really just hitting me. Like, it's strange. And. I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys. So if you guys have any like mindful or intentional parenting techniques or stuff that you do when it comes to like behavior or just anything in general, it's just I would like to hear them. So just drop them down below. Um, but yeah, so intentional parenting. And I definitely want to make a video that's a little bit more in depth. One where I don't sound like I'm dying and one where my little one isn't screaming in the background but if you have any mindful parenting tips please feel free to leave them down below i'm gonna go ahead and feed autumn and then we'll go inside and get our little kindergartner so i'll see you guys in a bit you'll see hopefully all of us um amity's sleeping i don't know if you can see her she's right there 
Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and feed. Also, there's like parents on either side, so they're probably thinking I'm insane. So just to kind of keep the sane look in my life, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave you guys there. And you took a nap. They saw that. Where did we go after you got back from school and we got daddy? Yeah. Where did we go? Fries. The grocery store? The grocery store. <laughs> yep. Now we're waiting for dad to come out of Walmart to get diapers. They're watching SpongeBob. Amity. Hi, Amity. Amity's grumpy. Hi, <laughs> So, Matt ran into Walmart because we ran out of diapers. I didn't realize it. I thought we still had some, but apparently we don't. Um, yeah. We're gonna go and make some dinner. We picked up some like really easy dinners. Matt and I had dinners at home. The girls picked some lunchables for dinner. We got snacks for Amberlynn's lunch. And so I'm gonna pack that. We're gonna do homework and we're gonna do a bunch of things. And then we're gonna go to sleep. So, see you guys in a bit. Shimmery, splendid. Looking at me. Because I don't even have my face on. You haven't been in the vlog. I don't have my face on. Yes, you do. I'm I swollen. See it right there. No, I don't. She doesn't need it. <coughs> oh, okay. I'm sick. Well then. <coughs> We're gonna go eat. Hi vlog. Sorry I haven't been around. I've been working. Hopefully there'll be a moving vlog soon. And those are always fun. Moving haul. Yay! Yay!